Arch Insomnia on social media and here is another gouache tutorial. This is for a still life I painted for Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. And you see me paint a white underpainting, white base underneath three candles, the sugar skull and the pan de muerto. And I painted the candles white because I looked up different source images and so I started with base one and then I kept changing my mind so you see me wiping the candle flame and deciding to just keep it really basic I did add shadows in this one and a little bit of warm light I ended up looking up a source video on YouTube of three actually I found three candles um, burning on YouTube and it was a very wonderful video that I just watched um, it's a nice reference and it's a really common background. <laughs> um, this is the sugar skull that I am painting and I put a white base and really colorful frosting to decorate it. There's some beautiful, colorful, vibrant sugar skulls I found and I just kind of... I noticed that since the decoration was frosting, a lot of times it was just squiggled on what I call squiggle. Um, some people did draw really elaborate faces and patterns, but I guess if it's mass produced in a bakery that's selling like several thousand of them, it's going to be squiggled on. So I was like, I'm going to paint squiggles. And I made them really bright over the white and I tried adding some shadow and highlight. The shadows looked okay, the highlights looked kind of strange. So I ended up moving on to painting something else and deciding to go back to the decoration later the dirt and the frosting on the sugar skull later because I'm yeah I'm, I put so many bright colors and then the blue I added on the blue at the very end and I put these dots and I was like oh I can't have it just happen oh you see me doing the shadows right now and I put a triangle, a blue triangle around the nose because I really wanted blue in there and those dots on the cheeks were, were just looking kind of silly. So at this point, I'm watching the YouTube video as a source for the candles and I noticed that it was brightest when the candles were touching each other, facing each other. Which So you see me put a bright light yellow or white when they're touching each other and then it was darkest away from, like on the outside away from the candle but because my image has mo other objects in it, I decided not to darken and have the shadows as dark or as prominent because I thought it would confuse, make the lighting too confusing if I, because you wouldn't be able to see the sugar skull, the bread, if it really was that, if it would just look really different. And it was really warm. The image was really warm and my illustration is, kind of a modified version because the texture I was getting a lot of texture from the gouache paint and I tried to smooth it smooth out but I ended up just keeping with the texture and just working with it and adapting to the texture and having the colors layer on you see me layer from um, dark light dark light and then the lightest light and sh after the shadow I kept adjusting the lighting in the shadow till I got it to look the way I and I had to put pretty thick paint on there um, and what you see me do is I'll layer on a really thick layer of paint then I will wash the brush and dry it and so it's just a little bit wet and then blend it a little bit before drying it with a hair dryer. The candle flame is a base of light orange, several coats of two coats of light orange and then a coat of creamy yellow. I did not want it blending in with the candle so I added a little bit of orange of outline outlining the candle flame and then I put a bright white in the very center. Then I went back to the sugar skull. I added more highlights and for the eye sockets some of the source photos showed what looked like candy wrappers inside the eye sockets so I tried to make some shiny candy wrappers in there because look like the skulls were stuffed with candies or something and so that's why the eye sockets look like that they're supposed to be candy it's supposed to show candy wrapper like there's candy being shoved in this sugar skull and then I went on to painting the pan de muerto and 
I have exactly one light brown, one dark, dark brown, so it was so I blended them together, and I I just used a mix for the base color. Then I added a, the creamy yellow for the highlights, and then I layered on several layers for the bread. I layered on a, the light tan, a mix of the tan and the brown, and I did put the tan over the cream because it was looking kind of weird and I kept looking at source images and at one point I decided to make my bread more of a my painting more of a I realized it would have to be a modified or idealized version adjusted version of the sources I saw because the painting just wasn't looking exactly like the source so I ended up so I kept adding on shadows and highlights and blending them in with a base color and then eventually when I you see me adding different several layers of brown and tan brown and tan brown and tan until it's the tone that I think matches the bread that I want it to look like and then I add more I let the light parts of the bread not be too light yellow creamy yellow because I thought it would be weird to have it stand out too much and then I added just a couple spots of highlights then I'm here here I'm doing the shadows and I just went ahead and just highlight did, did the shadows where you'd expect them to be in um kind of a dark brown for the marigold I applied direct bright orange and bright yellow for the base layer and I, the the paint was a little watery coming out of my palette so i'm drawing it a lot with the dryer and the yellow is just looking really weird because i'm putting straight yellow tends to be a trans more transparent color so when i put it darkly on a black canvas it doesn't stand out very much so i put a lot of creamy white layers underneath and then then I added a couple more orange turned a couple more of the marigolds orange here you see me putting a white outline highlight on the yellow marigolds and it didn't stand out very much so I tried highlighting it more or adding a little bit of shadow and ended up not looking very good like with the shadows weren't working well oh and you see me put multiple layers of orange the shadows did not look really good on the yellow marigolds so I ended up just deciding to put highlights on the marigolds and for the yellow ones I put white straight out white highlight white highlight on them and the orange marigolds had the creamy white as a highlight and thank you for watching my video let, e let me know if you have any art questions and what you've thought of the video and stuff